Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to integrate WhatsApp chat API in Oracle Apex. Just click on chat, chat API in Google. Select this chartapi.com. Click on free trial. You can either create your account or you can log in with Google. Just I am going to log in with Google. In my laptop, I already logged in with Google, so it is automatically selected. You can see here VB Vlogs. I have logged in with this account. So once you see this QR code, you need to scan this QR code in your mobile, WhatsApp installed mobile. You click on regular authorization. Then scan the QR code in WhatsApp installed mobile. QR code scan is completed then you can see auth status authenticated which is a one time process so you need to give your whatsapp permission to this chat api so which, which we already completed then after that we are we will go to oracle apex so this is my oracle apex application it's online grocery so how I integrated is just I will show you a demo. I will add, will add this one, will add this one. Okay. I'll add carrot also, then add coconut. Go to my cart so then place your order, select the delivery address, quantity, everything is fine. Just I will increase, increase this to proceed to payment. So here, here I have integrated. So once I click on confirm order. Then order will create an order con confirmation email will go to customer who is booking this order. So I will select cash and delivery then I will select confirm order. So once I click confirm order, order is create and the same order created confirmation WhatsApp message will go to corresponding customer i will open my whatsapp so let's let's finish the order then open cash and delivery confirm order yes my order is placed Now I am going to open WhatsApp to show you whether that message is delivered or not. Going to log into WhatsApp web. Then login. Scan the QR code. So here you can see this message order confirmed order reference number is ORD REF324 the same is there here 324 that's it so very simple now we I will tell you what all code I have implemented so I will go to previous page Then edit page 14. 
so here i have a process which create order sign send sms whatsapp sms to user so here i am selecting user mobile number from the user address table here i am creating the order i am taking order id into order id variable so here i have i have a procedure to send whatsapp message so i have this procedure i am passing mobile number and message to this procedure let's go to sql commands and check what is there in that procedure yes so i have procedure send order confirmation whatsapp then passing p mobile number p message then response body body you need to send in json format so i have constructed json here phone and body whatever mobile number i have passed it will come here then same thing message then this is the url you, you will get this url from the chat api this api you can copy this url and paste it here till here then this token equal to you can copy from this chat api and paste there once this is done you can call apex web service api package to send to make rest request so that i am setting content type then i am setting the headers after that here i am setting header 1 name that is content type the content type value is application or json because i am sending the data in json format that's why i used application slash json then so this package will help to make rest requests so the url i am passing the url then method which is post method the body body which means which whatever json we constructed here i am passing that one and this is to get the response then this is actually not using so if you are calling directly this code in your application then you can use apex application dot g underscore print success message to print the success message that's it and thank you guys thanks for your support if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe share like and support me thank you